I enjoy action. I enjoy being in a plane that's bombing something or being on the ground in the desert when they're advancing. That was, of course, the voice of Claire Hollingworth, veteran journalist and war correspondent, who celebrates her 104th birthday tomorrow. Claire was an inspiration to the generation of foreign correspondents following in her footsteps. Her contribution to journalism remains deeply relevant today. I think it's vital that Claire Hollingworth's story is now told and told in this way. She had an infallible instinct about what was really important. Claire stumbled upon, basically, Nazis build up on the German-Poland border. I was driving back along a valley and saw scores, if not hundreds, of tanks. Three days later, on the 1st of September, the tanks rolled in. And I remember telephoning to Robin Hankey. And I put the telephone out of the window so he could hear the tanks rolling in. She was always in the right place at the right time. Who did the first interview with the Shah of Iran? Claire Hollingworth. Who did the last interview all those years, 30, 40 years later, after he fell? Claire Hollingworth, and she was the only person that he wanted to speak to. On the eve of the war, she headed a refugee organization in Poland that helped over 2,000 escape the Nazis. She covered wars across Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. It was Claire who uncovered Kim Philby's defection to the Soviet Union. And for over 30 years, she has made Hong Kong her home. Claire Hollingworth exemplifies brilliant journalism. She was an eyewitness. The big thing, especially with the huge stories, and you don't know it's going to be a huge story, is to get there and see it for yourself. She was the standard bearer of reporting at an age when it just was not usual to be a female in a hostile environment. And she did it with complete panache and skill and success. Many of us who've come afterwards, you know, look back and are proud to remember it's Claire who really did it for us. We can all be proud of Claire as a correspondent and a fellow member of the FCC. She is an amazing woman and her life makes an amazing story. But it has not always been a happy story. She was widowed a half a century ago. She lost her eyesight in 1995, though she insisted on struggling on. In 2003, at the age of 91, she had a fall that would have killed a lesser mortal. In recent years, she suffered heart problems and a suspected stroke. But Claire's biggest problem now is that her savings have run dry, all because of a huge unpaid debt owed to her by another Hong Kong expat. Way back in 2006, Claire commenced a court action after this individual was found to have removed funds from her bank, yet persistently failed to provide a proper account. A settlement was agreed in court, but he reneged on that deal. The full facts of the case are accessible on the Hong Kong judiciary's website. It would be nice not to have to air Claire's problems, but good journalism requires a willingness to address unpleasant facts. Sadly, for the last decade, Claire's financial situation has been a permanent black cloud on the horizon. This is not the glamorous side of Claire's tale, but today, due to that unpaid debt, covering the basic costs of life in Hong Kong has become the top story. If it wasn't for the generosity of a small circle of friends who help her both financially and practically, Claire's independent life in a flat near the FCC would have ended. The FCC still helps Claire with a meal credit and the kindness and assistance of the FCC staff help make her regular visits to the club possible. Her two carers, Helen and Susan, provide Claire with daily support and have become like family. Great age is not always a blessing. Every year gets harder for Claire, but her life force remains undimmed. Back at her 100th birthday party, Claire declined to make a formal speech and offered to give just a few words of thanks. Um, then I end by thanking people for coming to my party. I just say thank them for coming to the party I hope I haven't bored them stiff. And, and I hope 
if they enjoyed it, that I live to see another birthday party. This is now the fourth birthday that Claire has celebrated since marking her century. And to that end, we raise our glasses to Claire Hollingworth, 104, on the 10th of October, 2015.